How America Used Nazis to Create an Atomic Bomb During World War II, the Allies were extremely concerned that Adolf Hitler and the Nazis might use their so-called Wunderwaffen or Wonder Weapons against them. Earthquake generators and death beams were just two examples of the fantastical arsenals that were supposed to be at the disposal of the enemy. There were, however, other types of weapons that were entirely possible, such as rockets, new types of poisonous gas, and bacteria-based weaponry. Worst of all, the threat of a German atomic bomb attack. Let's find out how America used Nazis to create an atomic bomb. But before that, make sure you are subscribed, along with turning on the notifications. Let's get started. Germany's atomic advancements at the onset of World War II were years ahead of anyone else's. Germany made the initial discovery of nuclear fission in 1938. The Germans had amassed uranium stocks and formed a special research unit led by quantum scientist Werner Karl Heisenberg with the express purpose of creating an atomic weapon. In 1943, the Allies formed a secret special operations squad with the mission of uncovering the Nazis' nuclear secrets and arresting the organization's key scientists. They were a small group of scientists and counterintelligence troops led by Colonel Boris T. Pash and operating under the codename Lightning A, or the Alsos mission. As the head of security for the Manhattan Project, an American attempt to develop nuclear weapons, Pash had the opportunity to unearth a network of communist spies trying to steal sensitive information. After initially joining the Allies on the front lines in Italy and France, Colonel Pash and his crew shifted their focus to interrogating scientists and seizing research. The United States intelligence community drew the conclusion that Germany did not have the capability to create a nuclear weapon as a result of these efforts. However, the Americans were extremely worried that the German nuclear program and its experts would fall into the hands of the Soviet Union or the Communists, and they had no evidence to back up their fears. To do that, Pash led Lightning A on its most daring and audacious mission to date inside enemy-held territory in Germany. Operation Big, ferreting out the Nazis' nuclear lab. On April 22, 1945, Pash led a small group into enemy territory on a mission codenamed Operation Big. With just two armored cars, four jeeps with machine gun attachments, and a store of recovered German weaponry for protection, werewolf or werewolf bands of fanatical Nazi youngsters posed a threat to the unit, even as the Nazi authority collapsed. Lightning A combined the area south of Heidelberg, near Hagerlock, ahead of the invading Allied armies. Luckily for Pash, the Germans in town thought the war was finished and surrendered to the American little band by hanging white sheets from their windows and poles. Colonel Pash unearthed the loot, a Nazi nuclear facility, and a test reactor in a cave not far from Hagerlock. The following day, American forces began deconstructing the structure before destroying the entire site. Afterward, Pash split his squad apart to go in search of the fugitive German scientists. After narrowly avoiding an attack from a werewolf band, one Lightning A unit finally made it into Tailfingen. The other group swooped down on Bissingen and despite resistance from the people, managed to take control of the city, dredging a cesspool for nuclear secrets. A textile factory and its adjacent buildings, which had been turned into a laboratory for German nuclear research operations, were discovered by Pasha's team on April 24th. 25 scientists were gathered there. After questioning the researchers, they discovered that the German research files had not been destroyed as the scientists had stated, but were instead stored in a waterproof drum that had been buried in a cesspool. Subordinates of Pasha's were tasked with the yucky task 
of collecting the documents from the human feces, and they eventually emerged with the drum in tow. In the same field, he discovered the Nazis' uranium stockpile and some heavy water, which is water with more hydrogen than usual, tracking down the top physicists. In spite of the conclusion of Operation Big, Pash continued to pursue Heisenberg, fearing the Fuhrer might launch one final Wunderwaffe against the Allies, Pash followed the clues into the Bavarian Alps. A crucial bridge over the gorge was damaged by young werewolf soldiers, and the lightning had to go to the rescue. When they ran out of gas, Pash led his 19 men through the ravine and into the mountains after they had to ditch their vehicles. Erfeld, a village near the Alpine Lake of Walchen was teeming with surrendered Germans when they arrived. About 700 SS men made way for his small band of soldiers. Pash bluffed his way out of a sticky situation by making the Germans believe his force was stronger than it actually was. Farm Hall, an English safe house, is where the German scientists ended up being taken. For their part, the scientists came out publicly as anti-Nazis. British spies secretly listened in on conversations at Farm Hall and discovered that the scientists there were shocked to learn that the United States had successfully launched an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. In the end, it was evident that Germany had not come near to building a functional atomic bomb, and while the Americans couldn't definitely infer the objectives of the other scientists, it was clear that Germany had not been close to developing one. What would have occurred if Nazi Germany had produced a nuclear bomb before the US? Tell us in the comments and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.